Hello, my friends in Minnesota, and maybe you're thinking you're not my friend. <laughs> well, maybe one day, who knows? My name is Rick Jiha, and I've been in real estate for 37 and a half years here in Northern California, selling houses uh, the whole time. I have a team here. And even more importantly to me, over the last 20 years or so, I've been a professional speaker and trainer and coach in the real estate industry. And uh, I've had the pleasure recently of getting to know the great people at Liberty Title. And this isn't a commercial for Liberty Title. Uh, most particularly, Carla Pierscala. What an incredible leader guiding people in her company and guiding real estate agents that are not in her company that are out there working for many different brokerages to to help them have a better life and a better business. Now, I got to tell you, in my 20 years as being a speaker and a trainer and a coach, one of the things that's really, really been big to me is surrounding myself with people who want to help change the lives of other people for the better. And it's how I've picked the companies I associate with right here in my backyard. The companies that I affiliate with are always the ones who are most willing to help unconditionally so that they see your business going somewhere, not as an attachment to, well, you've got to use me for business or you don't get my help. And that's one of the things I love about Carla and her leadership, and it's certainly one of the things I love about Liberty Title. Now, I was out there in Minnesota recently, and you know, I'm not wearing this Minnesota sweatshirt just to please you or, or to make you feel better about Minnesota. I live in Northern California, and it's become very cold here to us, is, which is in the 50s. For you, the 50s, it might be a pair of shorts and sunglasses. But it's cold here, so I had to wear my shirt, sweatshirt today as I work here from home. Um, one of the things that I found out when I was just there in Minnesota over on October 24th and 25th doing a speaking engagement is that Carla runs these book clubs. I was incredibly excited about that. If you go back to an amazing book called The uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, he talks in there about brainstorming and masterminding as two of the most significant ways to help your success in any business. And book clubs were something I resisted for years. And then my wife formed a book club for her business and, and asked me to be part of it. And something hit me like a ton of bricks while I was part of that. I didn't really want to be a part of it, but I did it to please my wife. And so much good came out of it. And here, this is what I'm talking about particularly. A couple of the books that they wanted to read is like, oh, I was like, oh, I've already read that book, right? But here's what I found out. When we would read, and we had people from all over the world in this book club. It was all done by phone. And I love that Carla's are done in person. And I got to tell you, I was reading, I was rereading a book as part of the book club. And we went on the phone. Everybody would talk about what they got out of that chapter. And here's what was mostly hit me so strong was that what I got out of the chapter was nothing like what most people got out. And I was learning from what they got out of it so much that it would make me go back and reread the chapter and see why is it that I didn't get that out of there. And that's that whole thing about perception, ladies and gentlemen. We don't see the world the way it is. We see the world as we see ourselves. It's the same thing when we're reading. So I'm excited as heck to be first a friend of Carla's. Second, she's going to ask me to speak at some of her uh, book club things. And third, I want to encourage you to be a part of this. I want you to encourage you to take it seriously because you never know when you're going to get that pearl that alters that one thing in your life that's held you back up till now. So I hope this helps. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person sometime or by Skype or phone. I will be coming out to speak on a regular basis between now and January. In fact, I'll be out in Minnesota the uh, 9th and 10th of this week. So take care, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.